So you've got a decent camera, lens, tripod, and you're ready to make videos. What should you invest in next that will give you the most bang for buck in your video productions? That's what we're gonna talk about next in this Let's Make Internets. Welcome back everybody, my name is Russ and this channel is all about practical tips for the working class YouTuber. So I think one of the biggest dilemmas that video creators face is where should they spend their money in terms of gear and equipment to get the most bang for a buck. Assuming you have the basics, you know, camera lens and computer to edit those videos, this is where I think you should spend your money next. So the first thing you should spend your money on is audio equipment. Yes, YouTube is a visual medium, but it's practically near impossible to communicate a message when your audio isn't coming out crisp and clear. So if you're debating between upgrading your camera or getting a fancier lens, I would say put that on hold and invest in your audio equipment first. There's lots of options out there, everything from these little uh, camera mounted shotgun mics to something like this condenser mic that I'm using to record this video and amazing little devices like this Rode wireless micro. So if you're not familiar with this device, basically it's a wireless lavalier, and this allows you to get a microphone really close to you for that really crisp and clear sound. And it sends a sound to your camera uh, via the magics of wireless technology. And this really opens up the possibilities of what you can do on video. You could do tutorials where you're making something and, you're, and you don't have to stand right in front of the camera to get good audio. And because the mic is placed so close to your mouth, it will always stand out over background noise. Rode actually came out with a pretty cool uh, accessory to this wireless lavalier where it transforms it into a stick mic. So with this one device, it's perfect for PC cameras or even taking it to uh, convention floors or interviewing other people. Remember those days? So yes, it's a little bit on the spending side, but it is definitely one of my most used pieces of video equipment. The next piece of gear I would invest in, and it took me a while uh, to personally do it, but I'm so glad that I did now, and that is with a decent light setup. So when I first started making videos, and I know a lot of you are in the same situation, you have to use what's available to you. And for me, that meant making most of my videos using available light. So literally filming most of my videos uh, to the side of this sliding glass door. And what's great about this is that, well, it's free, it's already here, and it had a nice soft quality of light to it. However, using natural light does have its disadvantages. Uh, namely, you can only uh, use it when light is available. So if you can't film during the day with <laughs> available light source, then that does pose a problem. So something like this LED uh, light panel is a great solution. Not only can you film it in rooms where there are no windows or in the middle of the night, if that's what works for your schedule, but you're also not physically limited to where you can film. Usually if you're filming available light, it's this balance of where the light looks good and you know a decent background. But with something like this, you can move it to literally any part in your house, set it up and shoot. This one I use and really like in particular is by a brand called Falcon Eyes and it's a flexible LED. And what's great about this is it's got a nice big diffuse light source, but it also comes with this gridded egg crate. So the light's a little bit more directional, but soft. Yes, you can do something similar with a uh, LED and umbrella, but I found using just an umbrella, there's too much random light spill and this lets you really focus the light where you want it to go. So the third thing I would suggest, which is something that you won't see mentioned too much in other YouTube videos, is some kind of hardware interface to help speed up your editing. Typically in my experience, you'll run into two bottlenecks, either on the production side or in the editing side. And something like this, this is the Shuttle Pro version two by Contour has been an amazing piece of equipment that has sped up my editing by a lot, trust me. So what this allows you to do is program your most frequently used editing keys to these buttons. It also has two jog wheels in the center. So this lets you skim through your footage really quickly as well as zoom in and out on your timeline. You can very quickly mark in and out points uh, when you're looking at your library of footage. You can program slow motion, uh, frame conforming uh, onto any of these buttons or whatever frequently used effects that you have. It's really versatile and you can personalize it to however you like to edit. I think I'll do a more in-depth review on how I use uh, the Shuttle Pro V2 in a different video. I just wanted to throw out there as another piece of equipment that a lot of people don't think of, but can really speed up your video production and allow you to make more videos for your channel. So if you want more practical tips for the working class video creator, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go out there and make some internets.